I remember specifically I was in your class when the transition happened to 90, the new transition happened at 95.7. Mm. I was actually in the car and I heard the switch over when it happened mm, and okay. the new promos <laughs> and all that. So um, it it's had its staying power. I mean, we're coming up on a few years after that transition and yeah, yeah. I still hear it on the radio on my drives into work this morning. It was actually the uh, most successful station change in the history of the CBS Corporation. Um, and so uh, we did a marketing research project. In fact, it's something that informs when I'm teaching some of the concepts of marketing segmentation. We paid for this expensive marketing research project that was against uh, the demo that we chose was Women 2554. Mm -hmm. And in the project, we found like actually there's this area of um, area of unmet need in the market that was really more it, it, it's an adult need rather than just uh, leaning uh, into that demo. And so we had to make a kind of a very scary decision uh, without the right research because we didn't properly look at the entire market. We were we made assumptions about who our customer was. So I remember when we tried to convince uh, the team in New York, because it's really a small, when this happens, it's a small team. It's like two people that are considering a change like that because it has to be a secret. Mm -hmm. uh, competitors will. And uh, uh, we knew that when we were going to sell the concept into the executive team, you know, literally the CEO in New York, uh, that they were going to be like, well, why didn't you guys do the research against more broadly? Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget in the, in the New York accent, I'm not saying who this was, but they said to us like, well, we don't have a better idea, so we'll let you do it. And so we literally, they let us do it. And then it was the most successful change. So we immediately, the ratings were like, we went from like 18th to like second. So it, it exceeded our wildest expectations. It was, it was a cool project, yeah. No, and that's amazing because you you took a leap of faith. And sometimes with marketing, we're sometimes, uh, in a way, storytellers. And we're also a bit of magician in the dark arts because <laughs> you have to make assumptions based on what do your personas tell you about the audience that you're trying to engage with. Mm -hmm. And you, have to, you can't always know exactly, is this person going to attribute to this? Uh, new concept and this new model so that's really exciting yeah. yeah we did we did pay for some fancy research but the research study the the crafting of it was imperfect because we only looked at one component of the market so the format actually is called adult hits the, mm -hmm. the format it actually typically leans heavily uh, like men 35 54 mm -hmm. and so we didn't have the data there we we're like oh but it's it looks so good in the demo that we studied it'll probably work <laughs> and it did, but that's, yeah, I mean, in real life, when you do a marketing research study, uh, you know, we had some data to inform our choices, but it was a, it was a scary choice. So, wow. and it turned out to be right. Listen, I've made many of this, many other mistakes. That was not one of them.